Hey everyone, I'm going to be making a mascot logo for you today. Um, this is something I have never really done before on YouTube. Um, so this is going to be a completely experimental video. Right, okay, so what I've done is simply take a photo of the design that I was happy with after a few sketches. As you can see, it's pretty basic and very sketchy because then that's just the way I work. Um, so what I'm going to do is normally I'd use a tablet for these kind of drawings, but in this specific case, because I'm doing mascot logos, I think it's more, probably more effective if I use a pen tool. Only because uh, it's easier to manipulate the lines as in the fill lines and the points and so on, um, just a little bit more quickly. So here we go. Okay, so basically once I scanned in my drawing, um, I just basically, you know, outlined it with a pencil. Um, everything was strictly pencil, what I used. There was no tablet or anything like that involved, which was um, quite different for me, I guess. But basically what I did, I scanned it in, and then I just, around the outlines, got the main basic outline, which started off like this. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty basic shapes, uh, which just weights upon. But once I was happy with everything, how everything was pointed and stuff like that with the line work, um, I got, went ahead and actually rescaled it because I realized the head was a little bit too long. Um, so what I did was I rescaled it and then focused more on the shading first before I did the, the lighting. Um, so I imagined the light was coming from the right side of the skull and not above or to the left side. And just added, you know, the basic points and the basic shading to the skull. Um, What's kind of difficult, to be honest, to try and figure out what it was trying to look like at the time. Um, I should have probably did a bit more uh, planning for that, but it ended up going okay. Now for the light shading, which was this here, um, I realized that this part of the cheekbone was had to, I wanted to add lines to it to give it a bit more shading, but then I thought it kind of, kind of doesn't make it look in front, if that makes sense. So I decided just to fill the whole thing as the, the light, which actually looked okay. Um, then I had to play around with the colors. Um, obviously this one, obviously the black was a bit too grayish. So it just kind of, kind of popped it out a little bit more. Cause it was, it was a bit too, what's that word? It wasn't as contrasting as I wanted it to be. Um, so yeah, I brought it out a bit more by darkening the lines and, uh, changing the colors a little bit more just to give it a bit more pop. And just to, uh, finalize it off, added some eyes and a little uh, border to fit the eyes. Overall, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I've never really tried anything like this before for a user video, so um, I hope you guys did like this. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to hopefully post more design work like this in the future. If you guys have any suggestions as well on something that I could do, um, please comment below because I, I do like a challenge, you know? I do like to challenge myself. You know, um, things I've never tried before, things that I know and maybe you want to just know how to do it um just anything um yeah that's all that's all I gotta say see you soon peace